guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Shiko, if you're new here, if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So today we are doing a vlog. This is Monday the 7th of October and it's around 6.30 a.m. I'm going for a shoot, yes a shoot. So like last week on Tuesday, I got, I went for auditions for darling hair and I actually got picked i am so excited and the shoot is the whole of this week from today and i just want to do a vlog of basically my whole week show you guys the process i really really can't wait for the photos so that's why my hair is a bit of a mess because anyway it's going to be done in the shoot yeah so see you guys in westlands in a few best cardamom tea ever today at this place it is it was so good i'm still waiting to get my hair done are they gonna do braids on my hair yeah i hope it's not blue braids or green braids because that would freak me out because i'd have to keep them for the whole week yeah let's wait and see but meanwhile let me show you guys my view this place is so pretty So for my non Kenyan viewers, this year let's look at her hair. Oh my god, it's so pretty, it's green. So we have makeup on going over there and hair. I'm still I'm here to get mine done. And we also have the shooter going here. time morning guys it's day two i'm just preparing to go for the shoot yeah Here finally. Mm, 
This is where we are shooting from. You should check this one out. <laughs> Look at her hair, she looks like a baby doll. Nice. So, my scalp is so painful, but okay, today it's better than yesterday when I was just braided. Um, they used like eight packets of this braid on my hair, so you can imagine how heavy my head is. But when I went home, I used a hot towel on the edges, so it's like a bit less tighter and I was able to sleep, but on my face. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have my makeup done and then I'm going to do the shoot. I'll show you guys some behind the scenes. Yeah, and I'll also like tell you more details about the hair. I can't remember the name and I don't know whether it's available already on the stores. So I'm going to ask and I'm going to let you guys know and it is so long as you can see it, it looks nice but it's heavy but with time I know I'm going to get used to it and I'm not going to waste this hair it's literally going to last for more than two months on my head I'll just be washing it in between go to the salon get it washed and put in the dryer because there's no way i'm gonna feel all this pain and then remove it after one month and no if it can last up to three months you'll see it for three months on my head hmm? anyway i'm also so hungry and i need to take breakfast i don't even understand how my body functions these days anytime i'm idle i just want to eat <sighs> and you guys my waist size right now is at 33 that's like the biggest I've ever been. I don't even know what to do about it because I can't, I can't stop eating chicken. It's chicken. It's chicken and wheat. Ah yeah, yeah. Pray for me. <laughs> oh, let's go shoot. Let's go get makeup done. I'm also. I can't wait for. I can't wait to get my makeup done. You know, it's not a lot of times I get someone to do my makeup because I'm a makeup artist. I just can't wait to see how she'll do my bros. That's normally like the most sensitive part. The bros, I hope she, I know she will get it well. She's, she's, she's a nice makeup artist. You guys are curious how I got the, um, the job to model for Darling. Um, I basically went for the auditions last week. On, was it on Monday or Tuesday? I can't remember. Um, yeah, I went for the auditions. It was so many. I was number 130 and that was like at 10 a.m. and they were ending like at 5 so you can imagine the amount of people who are who auditioned I can say it's only by God's grace I've tried working with Darling since I cleared high school any since like Mnoko 2015 I used there's a time I worked with Darling but for a runway they were launching new hair and they had a runway so I, I, I did the runway i thought they'd call us back for the shoot for the billboards and all that but i wasn't called i sent my portfolio to their email didn't succeed so i can say it's just god's timing because i just went for the auditions and you know i was picked from there even if it didn't happen that time i expected it to happen god still had a way of making it happen right now when i'd even forgotten about it it wasn't even on my mind but you know it just came I saw the audition then I went and yeah I passed so whatever you're trusting God for right now and whatever you have been trusting God for and has not yet happened and you've given up I just want to encourage you do not give up do not give up it's okay don't just like concentrate on that thing 24 7 um praying about it 24 7 asking god about it 24 7 god i need this god i need this just trust him he knows he's the one who placed that desire in your heart and he had a reason for it so i just know that he who placed the bible says that he who starts he who began a good work in you will be faithful to complete it so whatever desire you have if it's a job if it's a job you have you want a certain job you want a certain career you want to to pursue 
No, it's God who placed that desire in you and it is for his glory and God does not change his mind God does not change basically so if he placed that desire he'll make sure he'll make sure in one way or another he he fulfills it whatever thing it is Atakama you don't have capital, Atakama you don't have the means, you don't know people and maybe you think that job is all about connections, trust God. If if it's getting married thing, like let's say I want to get married but there's no, I'm not dating, I'm not in a relationship, I don't see anyone who wants to be in a relationship with me and all that. Just know that the fact that you have that desire to get married, God started that desire when he had already like figured everything out he's just wait he's just maybe preparing you he's just maybe waiting for that right moment to come in so that he can actually fulfill whatever you he wants to do with your life so um all this is about trust all this is about having faith it's not an easy thing to do i also sometimes get worried and i get so anxious but um, when that happens, what works for me is I take I take my phone, I put on some worship music and I worship the Lord and I, I read the word of God and let God minister to my heart and encourage me and take me back to a place of trust. So if there is something you've been trusting God with for, if there is something you've been trusting God for um, and you've given up, I just want to encourage you to go back to the place of trust, to go back to having faith in God, to go back and you know, just know that God will do it. This is a promise. He has promised us, we are his children. He will do it. Just keep waiting. Yeah. So I am so happy that finally God did this for me. And I know even the other the other promises he's promised me, he's still going to do them. I don't know when, I don't know how. But what matters the most is Whatever you are doing is in God's will. Whatever, so even the desires you have, I think God sometimes takes long to fulfill them because He wants to first work in our hearts so that when that thing comes, you won't idolize it. You won't find fulfillment in that thing. You'll find fulfillment in God. Because there are times I just want to make money and God brings clients. I go to clients I make my money I do their makeup and I'm left with that money and then I'm like Ipe sana fani fani nini. like it can't even fulfill all my needs it's not even like satisfying me you get like I get the thing I asked for but then when I get it I'm not satisfied I want more I want now I now want another thing and I've come to realize that that's why God sometimes doesn't bring whatever we ask him to bring up immediately because he first he first wants to work in our hearts he first wants to be assured that when i bring this thing you're not going to idolize it you know you're not going to make it your all because when that happens you, you're gonna get into depression you're gonna like let's say you get a husband because you've been dying to have a husband and he comes and you realize it's not all that um you start fighting and you're like that's how people get into depression and all these other mental conditions and even commit suicide. So even as you wait, let God work in your heart. Um, find fullness, find joy, find peace in God. Don't let whatever you are trusting God for be the thing that is going to bring peace, be the thing that is going to bring joy and fulfillment. Because it won't, I promise it won't. The only thing that can satisfy and fulfill us is God, a relation, our relationship with God. That is the only thing that can complete us. So, um, yeah, I can preach here forever. So let me just um, end and let me go get my makeup done. <laughs> I had my makeup done. The last time I checked in, I didn't have makeup and I didn't have this. So um, there's a stylist to dress us and all that. I love the makeup. I love the way the hair has been styled. I love the accessories, the details. Yes. So this this thing, this color, blondish color, was actually another braid that they added, like they would braid up to here and then from here they would add this color. Yeah, that's why you have that car detail. And then we have these two accessories and I am loving it. I can't wait for you guys to see um, the images on social media and all that. Yeah, 
so we're waiting for lunch and maybe i don't know after that i don't know what else i'll keep you guys posted the food is finally here day of the darling hair shoot I am I can't wait for this to end like I feel so exhausted uh, I, I just I just I'm not used to that routine of waking up every day to go to the same place doing the same thing however the shoot has been nice the darling people are amazing the other models were so nice to spend time with but I just can't wait to be done I miss shooting my YouTube videos. At least today I was not going so early. I'm supposed to be there by two. So let's just go. My hair is much better right now. Um, the scalp is not that much itchy. My head is getting used to the weight of the braids. So it gets better with time. By next week I know I'll be totally comfortable. Guys, hi! Finally, the shoot is over. I'm so excited. I've never been this happy to go home. Yani, let me get into the lift. I've never been this excited to complete a task. <laughs> anyway, this is how we were looking like today. Yeah, so today they added some of these gold details on my hair so that the hair can pop in the shoot. I'm so happy I'm going home. I'm going to watch movies. I'm going to sleep. I don't have to wake up early tomorrow. It's just party after party. After party, after party. Ooh. <laughs> hey guys, Aki, I forgot to do the outro of this video, the conclusion part before I removed my makeup and changed my clothes. I just remembered right now when I was about to go to bed, I was like, you know what, I'm just going to do this just the way I am. <laughs> yeah, so, um, after the shoot i just came back home and changed and actually this 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 kitamba what's the name this head wrap is really helping me because it's soft and you know the hair is rough so it's helping to like when i'm sleeping i'll have a smooth surface to lie on yes um and the hair by the way has started to become lighter right now it's not that heavy so with time you get used to so if you want to do this hair it's called afro kinky long and the reason i've been complaining that i'm hurting and all that it's because you know because of the shoot they had to really like perfect the the way they did the hair they had to tighten it when fixing they had to use a lot of packets so that it will appear nicely on the photos so it's actually bulky but if you were to do this on a normal day you could use less packets i used almost eight packets the experience shooting with darling was amazing um apart from the fact that i was not comfortable so much comfortable at first with the hair everything else was nice the photographer the makeup artist the whole darling crew who were involved in the shoot were amazing they were so friendly 
and they used to feed us well as you can see from the videos the first day we had kfc the second day we had pizza today we had subway and it was my first time having those subway sandwiches or whatever they are called and they were amazing like i just found a new thing i'm going to be eating yeah so i really enjoyed that in fact since i started modeling which was in like 2014 this was the best shoot i've ever been to in terms of how we are being treated as the models and how they're investing in buying us food and making sure we are comfortable and all that yeah thank you so much for watching this video you know it felt like you're part of this when i was shooting the whole thing yeah so thank you so much for watching and for subscribing to this channel for being part of this youtube family yes i love you guys so much i'll see you guys on the next one bye